In this video, I'm gonna give you some of my best social media marketing tips to help you get more reach, more engagement, and more sales from your social media. And I'll walk you through, step-by-step, step, a social media marketing strategy that's working better than anything else right now. And it all starts by first understanding that things have changed and they're never going back. So if you've been trying to use social media to grow your business, get more customers, or build up an audience, and you're not getting the results you were hoping for, I've got good news. It's not your fault. It's just that there have been a lot of very big changes to the different social media algorithms and how the platforms decide and prioritize what content gets promoted and shown, and most importantly of all, how all of this is impacting your current and potential social media audience. So the secret then to solving this once and for all first starts with understanding the importance of marketing strategy number one, niche marketing. Of all of the marketing strategies that I'm gonna share with you here today, there's perhaps none more powerful than that of niche marketing. But before I show you how it's done, we first need to cover two very important things. The first is, what exactly is niche marketing anyway? Well, my friend, I'm glad you asked, because when it comes to marketing, there are two very different strategies. The first is mass marketing, which is where you try to go after anyone and everyone. This is what the big billion dollar brands often do, and this is what most people think of when they think of marketing or advertising. The problem though, is that when smaller or medium or even large businesses try to copy this mass market approach, they quickly realize realize that it's just not a very effective strategy for them. This is because it's nearly impossible to try to reach everyone, not to mention the fact that most people out there simply aren't a good fit for you or your business. So you're wasting your precious time and money and marketing dollars on people who are never gonna buy anyway. So this is where niche marketing comes in, a significantly better approach for pretty much every single business out there. What niche marketing does is identify a smaller segment within the much larger mass market, a segment or niche that has its own specific set of needs or wants or desires or whatever. And by going after a small segment of the market, you can get a lot more bang for your marketing buck because now you can tailor your message to the exact people that you're trying to reach. For example, if you're selling toothpaste, well, the mass market approach would be to go after everyone in the world that has teeth. For easy math here, let's say we have 8 billion people in the world and we'll just say that they all have teeth. Well. That's a lot of people. So this is where you would start to niche down to find segments of the market that would be most interested in the kind of toothpaste that you wanna make. Like toothpaste for sensitive teeth or whitening toothpaste or pickle flavored toothpaste, which yes, is very much a thing and is proof that you absolutely can niche down and probably a whole lot more than you thought. All right, so now that we've got that covered, the next thing then is how do you properly pronounce niche anyway? After all, you may have heard it called niche, like I've said throughout this video, but maybe also niche or Nietzsche. So to help you remember, I wrote a little song. Now when you think of a niche, just think of bacon a quiche, or like a dog on a leash, or maybe saying the peach, cause when you do it this way, you'll never make a mistake. You won't have egg on your face, we're we'll always saying it wrong. Okay, next up we have one of the most controversial marketing statements of all time, but the facts don't lie. Even though this next one may be a tough pill to swallow, if you really wanna grow your business, then you're gonna need to put down the perfectionist hat and put on the publisher hat. Have you guys seen my publisher hat? And this is because it's time to make stuff, a lot of stuff. And that means prioritizing quantity over quality. If you've ever read a blog post or listened to a podcast or seen a video on content marketing, then I know you've come across the age old advice to publish high quality content on a consistent basis. Everyone says this and they're not wrong. Quality content on a consistent basis is one of the biggest keys to success in marketing, but it's the end point, not the start. Quality content isn't something that just happens right out of the gate. It takes practice and engaging with your audience and slowly building up your content creation skills. And so the advice to focus on creating the highest quality content you possibly can often causes people to give up before they even get going to agonize over their content and to too harshly judge their own creations. And in the end, well, this basically leads to them never doing anything for fear how they or how their content might be perceived. But the reality is that in this hyper competitive market, more really is better. Different is better and better may not actually be better because quality is subjective. So what looks terrible to you might look amazing to someone else and probably does. So if you're currently putting out one video a month, try to make it weekly. If you're sending out a weekly marketing email, try three times a week or maybe even daily. And if you're putting out daily Instagram content, well, you could try twice a day, or dare I say three times a day. Anyway, here are four things that'll help you do that. First, just use your phone camera 
probably have it with you all day every day, so you might as well get creating. Next, you could invest in a marketing specific video camera, something that you carry with you and you know it's time to record content when that bad boy comes out. Plus, there's always good old fashioned pen and paper. I talked about this being one of the most important things that Richard Branson, who now owns more than 400 different companies, carries with him all the time. You see, it's competitive out there, my friend. So the key is to do your best and do it as often as you can without going crazy in the process. That's the game. That's the fun. All right, next up, we need to talk about what truly is the best marketing tool, media, strategy, or tactic available to you right now, video. So let's dive into that one now, starting with a very timely and very relevant message from this video's sponsor, CapCut Online, your one-stop marketing platform for both quantity and quality marketing content. As we're gonna get to in just a minute, video is one of, if not the most important and effective tools you have available to you today. And how do you do it quickly without needing to use complicated software and without paying a fortune to access features and tools you're probably never gonna use anyway? Well, that's where CapCut Online Video Editor comes in and makes an appearance as your go-to tool for transforming ordinary footage into what can only be described as cinematic masterpieces. And it does this all effortlessly and for free. You can highlight product photos, batch edit, resize photo and video, and there are free commercial templates available to use as well. So let me show you what that looks like now. First, I create new, then choose nine by 16. Drag and drop a video I just shot with my phone. I can choose from templates, add stock video, audio, or text. But what I love the most is the caption section here. Because with just the click of a button, I can choose auto captions, which automatically recognize speech and videos. I'll choose English, then generate. I can then preview, edit, change the format and style, and when everything looks the way that I want it to, all I have to do is hit export and then download the video, perfectly formatted and able to be shared instantly everywhere. And all you need to do to get started using CapCut Online for your marketing is just click the link in the descriptions below this video to sign up for free today. So with all that said, next let's dive a little deeper into the powerful world of video and how to get the most out of it. Now, talking about video marketing as one of the most important marketing strategies right now almost feels kind of obvious, but it needs to be said anyway, as most people still aren't putting enough time and money and energy towards video. And video really is the future and the present. So in rapid fire succession, here are five video marketing facts to hopefully push you over the edge into the wild and wonderful world of video marketing. First, 78% of people watch online videos every week and 55% view online videos every day. Next, 54% of consumers want to see more video content from a brand or business they support. Next, 72% of customers said they would rather learn about a product or service by way of video. Also, viewers retain 95% of a message when they watch it in a video compared to just 10% when reading it in the text. Also, marketers who use video grow revenue 49% faster than non-video users. The fact is, video is the next best thing to being in person, face to face. Builds trust like nothing else out there and allows you to communicate a ton of value very quickly. It's what your customers want and it's what the social media networks want as they continue to prioritize showing video content over pretty much any other kind of marketing content out there. But if you really wanna know the secret to succeeding with video marketing, then you need to know exactly what to say how to say it, and what psychological hot buttons to push in your viewers. And that's why the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is check out the video that I've got linked up right here, which is gonna give you 15 psychological marketing tactics that you can use right now in order to start getting more clicks, more engagement, and more sales from everything you post. So make sure to tap or click that now, and I'll see you in there in just a second. 